Hey everyone, Max here from Australian Vaporizers and today we're looking at the new Easy Valve starter set for the Volcano Vaporizer. So trust something like this to be released so soon after our Volcano Buyers Guide went up, but hey, it's definitely a welcome update. And here's the new box. Looks pretty similar to the old one, hey, kind of anticlimactic. There's one very important difference though, and that is this little black ring here. Let's open it up and have a closer look. Four of these assemblies are indeed exactly the same as they've always been. This one here though is actually a new component called the Easy Valve Balloon Adapter. This essentially lets you replace balloons yourself, just as you would with the solid valve. The black slip ring that keeps the balloon in place is exactly the same as the one that's used in the solid valve assembly. They've just added a little black section in between the valve and the balloon for it to lock onto. Now if you've watched our starter set comparison, you'll already know that the main benefit of the solid valve was the long term economy. Being able to replace just the balloon material yourself means you don't have to buy a box of valves and mouthpieces every time you run out. The fact that you can now refit easy valve balloons means there aren't too many reasons left to go for the solid valve. Bearing all of this in mind, I'm just going to quickly brush over some key points for each system. I'll start with what's included in the actual kits. Both sets come with a filling chamber, balloons, replacement screens, a liquid pad for concentrates, and a cleaning brush. The solid valve is limited to only one user at a time though, simply because there's only one valve included with the kit. So if you're planning on vaping with friends, it's easy valve all the way. Despite the fact that both systems allow balloons to be refitted, if you're after anything longer than the stock 2 foot easy valve balloons, you'll have to buy some replacement balloon tubing along with your kit. The solid valve system on the other hand already comes with a 3 meter roll of tubing as opposed to the pre-made replacements, so you're free to make them whatever length you like. As you can see here, the filling chambers are quite different too. The easy valve uses a wider, shallower bowl which tends to allow for more even heat coverage. This means it doesn't need a plunger style insert to push the herb down like the one that's included with the solid valve chamber. Not only that, but I've also recently learnt that this shallower design helps to prevent condensation from building up inside the assembly. The way these two chambers attach to the top of the volcano unit is also definitely worth mentioning. The easy valve chamber actually clips on with these little feet, whereas the solid valve version just sits on top of an o-ring, making a seal with its own weight. This can cause vapour leakage, which is never a good thing. In my opinion, the easy valve chamber is a lot more convenient to use, but there are people out there who might need the extra capacity offered by the solid valve version. As far as materials go, both systems are made from a combination of stainless steel and high temp plastic. The main difference here is that the solid valve itself and the mouthpiece use a stainless steel insert, whereas the easy valve assemblies are made entirely of plastic. If you're not a big fan of plastic parts, then this might be a bit of a turn off for you, but they are a lot lighter and more comfortable to hold. Maintenance wise, the easy valve is still the way to go. There might be some more cleaning involved now that you can reuse one of the valves, but unlike the solid valve system, you've at least got the option to grab one of the pre-made balloons if you're strapped for time. So all in all, it seems like the playing field between these two systems isn't as even as it once was. Stores and Bickle are obviously trying their hardest to push people towards the easy valve and with due cause, but there are still a couple of situations where the solid valve might be worth considering. Namely, if the easy valve filling chamber is too small for your needs, which for most users will be highly unlikely, or you're utterly opposed to plastic parts. As usual, we'd love your input on this never-ending debate, so throw us any comments or questions you might have. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Maximum Australian Vaporizers. Have a good one.